084 with the 62 millimeter Husqvarna um, Weisco piston. Got it in. What I had to do was a little bit of trimming. Let me get my pointer carefully around here. Just this thing will focus. I just took the um, the Dremel and cut a little bit because the piston's wider, and I definitely don't want it to bind. So I trimmed that just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. This is an OEM gasket that I covered in silicone. I'll show you what silicone I use. This. This is my favorite silicone in the world. It's $2 more, but oh well. So what happens now is... Um, I got to put the cylinder on, obviously. So I'm measuring the clearance for the squish. I don't want it too loose. With two gaskets, it's 30 thousandths, and that's a little bit too loose. So what I'm going to do is cut this coat can out and make a gasket out of this. And I'll put that silicone on both sides of the gasket and let it sit for probably an hour. And then I'll stack the two gaskets together. This will really be like a shim. I believe this is like two and a half to three thousandths. And with the silicone, it brings it up a little bit more. And that should give me adequate clearance. Now, when I trim this piston, the skirt, I left the skirt on the exhaust side a little bit longer. Because when I had the cylinder bored out, it, it pulled the port down a little bit on the exhaust. And I didn't want to free port it. Because with the stock piston, it would... All the way at the top, it would open a gap at the bottom of the exhaust port, and then you'd lose your vacuum, and it's called free porting. So now with this a little bit longer, it doesn't do that, and you have to check and make sure, make damn sure, you're not bottoming out, because you don't want to do that either, because you can blow the motor up um, hitting the piston on the bottom, as well as you can blow the motor up hitting the piston on the top. So you want to make sure everything's right. So this piston actually has the skirt to the exact height it needs to be on the intake side, but the exhaust, it's a little bit longer. Um, I couldn't tell you how many thousandths longer. I just measured it as I went with the cylinder, you know, to make sure that it was covering the exhaust port up. But the intake's critical that it needs to be where it needs to be because that's your intake port timing. And that's that. So... I'm going to cut this with a pair of scissors, and then I'll, I will um, put the gasket on it and use a, um, one of these pens, a Sharpie, a fine point, a new one. Um, they get screwed up pretty easy. And then I'll use an X-Acto knife, a new one as well, because they got to be really sharp. I'll use this baby right here. This thing's crisp. And um, as long as my wife's not home... I'll do it on the kitchen table, because it's an old kitchen table anyway, but she'll still kick my ass if she catches me doing it, but that's what I'll do. I'll cut that baby out and make a gasket. If I had somebody to hold the phone, I would do it and show you how I'm going to do it, but basically what I'm going to do is cut it flat, lay the gasket out, trace it out, and then just scribe it with the scissors on the outside, and then um, cut the inside out first while it's big. So you got something to hang on to. Cut the circle out. And also, I made this stock gasket a little bit bigger to go from 60 to 62 millimeters. So I want to trim this and this just a little bit more. That's why I, I notched this out on each side of the case a little bit. And I taped it all up and put rags in there. Then I washed the whole thing with Dawn, a little bit of that um, Formula 88 and soapy water and I wash it all out then I spray WD-40 in there and blow it you know after I blow it out with air make sure it's completely spotless and there's nothing in the cylinder in the case in the bolt holes or anything that's going to fall in when I put it together so that's that
And I hope that clarifies a few things. My buddy Carlos is pulling up. Got to go look at a tree job. That's that. Thanks for watching.